Hello everyone. Welcome to the class of Digital Communication Lab. In the last lab, we have seen the TDM encoding and decoding experiment. Today, we will see the fourth experiment, which is delta modulation and demodulation. As you can see, in this fourth experiment, the delta modulation is actually also a technique uh, like the PCM, which converts the analog signal to the digital signal. So in delta modulation quantizer is only of two label that is uh, either zero or one. So it is single bit quant uh, single bit digitizer. And uh, for the experiments, let's uh, come to the block diagram. This is the simple block block diagram of delta modulation input. There is limiter, sampler, and delta modulation output. After that, there is a feedback. This is the buffer and uh, this is integrator that uh, low pass filter and then output so actually here the output signal will be like this uh, this is the sine wave of 2 kilohertz and this two uh, actually two parts is combined in the sign uh, one so this is the delta modulated output of uh, our message signal So basically this is the main block diagram that I will use in the telecom, uh, telecom trainer circuit. So here actually this is the master signal uh, 2 kilohertz sine wave, wave signal that is uh, analog signal that we have to modulate uh, using delta modulation. So this is the analog signal of sinusoidal signal 2 kilohertz. Then there is an adder actually this is not adder here it is it subtracts the signal. So, uh, adder is used as adder and subtractor. There is a comparator. Basically, comparator is used for if uh, the subtractor value is positive, then the output of comparator will be 1. And if the uh, um, difference value is negative, then the output of comparator will be uh, minus 1 or less than uh, negative than 0. And there is a serial to parallel converter. Serial to parallel converter works as when uh, this is uh, converting the bit by bit that is one zero zero one zero like this period uh, bit. So it converts to serial to a parallel. It converts the serial bits to parallel one because it's uh, required to convert the parallel and at the same time it is required to change the value of this binary bits to uh, to the analog one. And that is passed through the low-pass filter, which is RC low-pass filter. And this actually demod not demodulate, but uh, it's demodulate the signal. So what is the output we are getting at the output of serial to parallel converter is fed back by the RC low-pass filter. It converts the analog, uh, digital to analog signal and then this analog signal is subtracted from the original one. So you have, have already, I think you have already learned about the delta modulation there is a difference uh, of uh, current uh, um, symbol or current sample and previous sample if that difference is positive then delta is at the plus side that is plus one that is one and if the difference is negative so that means that is the signal is decreasing and that means it will give zero the serial to parallel converter circuit uses the clock frequency to convert the serial to parallel and that clock frequency we will take 100 kilohertz so let's see at that uh, as you already know the master signal i have taken 2 kilohertz sinusoidal signal from this master signal and that uh, fed to the this is adder when uh, the both switch are just at 12 middle of this so this is uh, I have given the first signal to adder of 1 as you can see here master signal 2 kilohertz adder first then uh, output of adder has been given to comparator so output of this adder I have given to this here you can see the comparator input of the comparator there is two any comparator has two inputs uh, one is uh, the reference value and one is which we are uh, comparing. So this is the reference of comparator I have given to it. And uh, the second input of the comparator has been given to the ground. The output of the comparator 
is given to the serial to polar converter so the output of this comparator here is given here this is the serial to parallel converter circuit so there is a in this there is a three switch one is serial the second one is clock which i have given the 100 kilohertz signal and the output there is two output of serial to parallel converter one is x1 the second one is x2 basically this two outputs are not uh, will be same because the first one is giving uh, giving the odd uh, odd, uh, odd bits and the second one give, giving the even bits so i am taking from the first i can take also on the output from the second and that will that will not actually the change the signal so i have given the output of uh, this serial to polar converter to the rc low pass filter there is uh, you can see here that rc low pass filter and the output of rc low pass filter has been fed back to adder input b and uh, i have explained already it so this is actually the delta modulator circuit and you can see the result so here this is sinusoidal signal which is i have taken to kilohertz sinusoidal and this is delta modulated output which uh, generated by the delta modulator circuit so for understanding i have changed this output for a serial to parallel converter i have taken first i have taken from x1 now i am taking from x2 and uh, the output is uh, some output has been changed something but uh, this is also giving the delta modulator and it is basically the uh, even bits so you can take uh, output from x1 as well as x2 either one so second part of this experiment to get this sawtooth output actually this sawtooth output you will get here from the rc low pass filter output here this is uh, basically the uh, demodulated but uh, it is not using the uh, tunable low pass filter but it is rc low pass filter which is fixed in frequency uh, cut off frequency so here the sawtooth wave is formed here the output of the rc low pass filter has been now given to uh, channel 2 and uh, we will see first press r to set and here you can see the signal this is the sort of thing. when you will overlap this two by position using position actually there is phase shift between two so now this is nearly overlapped with each other yeah so this is the modulation part of the delta modulator now we will we'll go for the demodulation of del delta modulation so for the demodulation there is a same circuit has been given so you have first modulate then after the serial to parallel converter this has given to tunable low pass filter then recovered signal has been obtained so here after serial to parallel circuit i have given the output to the low pass tunable low pass filter here you can see here and the output uh, of this tunable low pass filter this is given to channel 2 and now start to set
все. So this is the original signal that is a 2 kilohertz sinusoidal signal and this is the reconstructed or demoderated signal of uh, delta modulation that uh, is from output of low pass filter. So I think you can understand all the things by the just circuit. I have already told you that uh, message signal is modulated by delta modulation and this is the circuitry of delta modulation I have already explained about this and uh, after passing it to the low pass filter I have recovered the message signal accordingly. There is uh, sometimes of error that is over uh, slope overload error and uh, granular error in the delta modulation. So you can understand why uh, just figure. So if uh, this is sinusoidal signal, so this is TS that is sampling interval and that this is step size that is delta. The, so the slope of uh, this will be delta by TS equals to delta, by, in, delta into Fs. This is the slope of the quantizer and uh, slope of your sinusoidal signal when uh, you let uh, the sinusoidal signal uh, s equals to a cos omega t. So the slope you know that is the derivative of the signal so d upon dt s equals to a omega sin of omega t actually minus but uh, we will not consider that the maximum of uh, this slope will be a times omega. So there is uh, two types of uh, error one is slope overload and the second is granular error. In slope overload the message uh, slope is uh, greater than the this quantizer slope and in granular error the message slope is less than the this quantizer so for the perfect reconstruction of the signal or perfect delta modulation there on this condition that is delta into fs is should be equal to a omega so if for the uh, slope overload modulation uh, error the message uh, our message slope will be greater that is a omega greater than delta into fs. So when it is possible you can change anything. This is the message frequency, this is the amplitude of the message and this is the step size and this is frequency, sampling frequency. So if we increase, uh, if you are decreasing the sampling frequency then delta uh, there will be slope overload error. When you are decreasing the delta, you cannot decrease the here the delta because it is fixed. So you also get the slope overload. By changing these four variables, you can get either slope overload uh, error or granular error. And if uh, this equality holds, then that, that will be perfect delta modulation. So I cannot change here actually um, the master signal in this uh, block is fixed frequency as well as fixed amplitude so I cannot change here that uh, I cannot show you how it is affects and as well as when uh, there is only two 8 kilohertz and 100 kilohertz frequency that is fs so this also I cannot change only two points if there is a variable so I can show you how it looks like but uh, by that uh, Theoretical parts, I can understand. Uh, I thought that you can understand all the things. So, what I have seen in delta modulation, I have uh, modulated the signal to delta modulated. Then I have uh, shown the uh, chartreuse wave. Then I have demodulated demodulated the delta modulation modulated signal, and I have explained some uh, 
errors that is occurring in delta modulation and why so for this lab i think this is enough if you have any doubt so you can uh, ask in class